Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Shall we begin? Aloha Capricorn, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for September 2021. So this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Um, if you haven't already, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. Um, also, please leave me a comment with what resonates for you. Um, for my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for your patience. I have been in the process of moving, so I've been trying to get more content out for you guys. Um, but I feel like I'm back on track now, and so things should come out at a more scheduled rate and pace there. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, those of you that are new, how I read is intuitively, so I may not read the cards in the traditional manner. Also, sometimes spirit will come through with people's names or situations. This doesn't always happen. Um, if it does, they're just trying to get a t um, the person's attention who they're talking to, okay? So if it, um, take what resonates with you, leave the rest, please, okay? Um, so let's go. We are going to look at a Keepers of the Light card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising for September 2021. This is going to be your overall guardian, your ascended master that is watching over your path at this time. Okay, and then we also have uh, a new spread I'm going to do, which is a monthly check-in. So it's a nine card spread. It's going to have different themes to do an overall view. Remember, this is a general reading. Okay, so we have Kali Ma. She's one of my favorite. Facing fear. Okay. It says, uh, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Or I like to say fly. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kali Ma is amazing. So she basically removes any obstacles. She helps you to face your fear. She is the divine feminine in the warrior stance okay and so she is able to um, be completely fierce and get what she needs they're also showing me um, the red hibiscus here um, so that seems to be standing out at this time so if you have red hibiscus around you can wear some um, or have it in your home uh, that would be really useful it's like um, calling in Kali Ma so that makes me need to go get a red hibiscus. Okay, I'm a Capricorn with you guys. All right, so let's look at the current self for Capricorn. Okay. Current self for September 2021. Where are the energies for Capricorn right now? Where are the energies for Capricorn right now? Current self. There we go. Okay, beautiful. We have the Innocence of Pentacles. Okay, this is great. Um, it's like, uh, Capricorn, you are at the beginning of a brand new life. Like, the, there were some other cards that were trying to flip over, one of which that I saw was like the Tower. Um, so for many of you, you may have had some major unexpected life changes recently. I know for myself, I moved to a completely different island. That decision and the move happened within 30 days. Um, and so lots of major life changes happening. I know I'm doing a different diet plan. So, you know, um, they're having me share that because it's like, I feel like there's multiple ways in which things are new for you. And this is beautiful. So you're in the stage of being new, but the opportunity is growing. Okay. So, um, what they're saying is in the realm of spirit capricorn you are always at the beginning and so this is um new growth for money this is new growth for relationships um and i love that you're at innocence because your innocence means that you are open to learning you're open to new experiences you're open to having uh what you have been um programming for to grow um so this is a really beautiful position for you to be in capricorn What's the theme for Capricorn for the month of September? What is the theme? The overall theme. All right, excuse me. I have kiddos running down the hall and my dog was... Okay, 
The overall theme is temperance. This is patience. I know it's like, oh my God, we've been so patient already. Um, but what they are saying is there's purpose in the patience. Um, I, one of my other readers that I think that I like to watch is Baba Jolie, and she has been saying about temperance, there's purpose in patience. Um, and I really liked that. And so, um, because there's always a reason to allow things to balance out. This also reminds me, um, in the traditional decks, it's got an angel that's pouring two cups together. So it always reminds me to allow the different energies, notice you've got the red and the blue here, to alchemize, okay? And that takes some balancing of the skills, that takes some patience, that takes some um, behind the scenes work to allow spirit to allow things to unfold. So your major theme is really this balancing that's happening, um, but it's coming from spirit behind the scenes. And so they are asking you to have patience with yourself and others this month. So that's going to be a major theme is this balancing and being um, patient as things are um, alchemizing. All right. What is the key goal or the main goal for Capricorn? Oh boy. Okay. There we go with that tower again. Okay. The main goal for Capricorn. There we go. Spirit of Pentacles. All right. So this is the growth factor. And let me see if Spirit, this is Taurus. So I feel like this is, let me see which one this relates to. Oh, excuse me. That's heart. Oh, Spirit is the King of Pentacles. Okay, excuse me. Um, this one is um, <laughs> labeled differently. I apologize to look for that. I just wanted to make sure I told you the right thing. So Spirit of Pentacles. Okay, the key goal here is to come into mastery. So you're starting off at, at, at innocence and you're ending in, um, you're ending in mastery in the pentacle suit and how you move energy and um, financially I feel like this alchemizing that's coming through um, one of the key goals is to come to mastery um, I feel like to allow the flow to move forward to have things in the tangible universe so you're really um, leveling up quickly in this month to go from current energies of innocence of pentacles and then the theme being mastery you are going to be going through those spiritual changes um, that are going to lead you to mastery. This is also the card of Taurus. So if you have Taurus placements in your chart, um, pay close attention to that and also maybe um, watch Taurus's video. Okay, when I get that out, let's see next. Um, an obstacle. All right, we have Ace of Cups Reverse. So one of the obstacles I feel like for Capricorn is letting love in. Okay. Um, Ace of Cups up here is an offer of love, okay? When it's reversed, it can feel like there's no love to be offered, but what they're saying to me is that it's more so about you facing your fear of intimacy, and that is in friendships, your relationships, in love, um, also your work relationships. It does not just have to do with romantic love. What they're saying, Capricorn, is uh, is part of the fears that you're facing. One of the obstacles is to let love in, um, to allow yourself to see the offers that are coming in, to feel the offers that are coming in, but you're feeling like there's not anything being offered. Um, but there is, <laughs> okay? And so it's like uh, allowing yourself um, to let in the intimacy, to let in the desires of your heart, to allow yourself to go... To that mastery and to master your emotions and say you know what um i do want to manifest this lover or i do want to manifest this friend group and i do want to manifest this job that is actually in my heart or i want to do my art all the things that you've been programming for you're facing your fear of the intimacy the vulnerability that is opening that up and that's going to be one of the obstacles for you what is the major accomplishment in the month of september for capricorn oh boy nice we have eight of cups and strength okay so the major accomplishment is walking away from things that no longer serve you and you have the strength to do it so you're going to feel stronger 
than you think that you are. Uh, Sagittarius just had this strength as the major accomplishment, I think, as well. I think so. Um, and so anyway, uh, Eight of Cups says you're walking away from the cups that do not give back to you doesn't mean you don't love people it doesn't mean that you don't may not love your job but you're walking away from the things that deplete your energy and you have the strength to do that uh, so some of you may be choosing to leave a relationship at this time and that's the fear that you're facing okay because once you start to get intimate with yourself you realize that that person's not giving back to you some of you may be leaving a job some of you may be choosing your inner circle more wisely and um, leaving some friend groups or making a decision for what is best for you some of you might be leaving the like moving okay and moving to a new location and um, and essentially like you know what they're saying is leaving the home of your youth um, for a new adventure um, and you do have the strength to do it. So that's going to be the major accomplishment. And for some of you where it's relationship oriented, um, this isn't going to come out of the blue. This is something you have been wanting to do for a while. You've known it's the right thing for you, but you didn't feel strong enough to face those fears. Um, cause I feel like some of you, it's not going to be for the, uh, for everyone, but a small portion of you, um, like this is a divorce. This is you choosing to file those divorce papers excuse me I got a little indigestion even thinking about that um, and um, you have the strength to do it so this is not going to be an on the whim situation this is something you have been wanting to do for a long time but haven't had the courage to do and they are saying that you are going to have the courage to move forward with that okay what to avoid for Capricorn what to avoid what and what's really crazy is some um they just screamed out the name david when i said what to avoid <laughs> um so i don't know take that how that resonates that is not going to be for everybody um but uh essentially um if it resonates for you it resonates for you okay anyhow we have movement of cups and heart of cups okay um I need to ask about that excuse me moving too quickly okay so essentially the thing to avoid is moving too quickly in matters of the heart okay so even though you may be walking away from some things and um, for others it's going to be like um, allowing yourself the strength to be intimate but it's saying like don't move too quickly in matters of the heart. Um, avoid <clears throat> being overly emotional at this time, okay? Um, even though Capricorns don't show their emotions that often outside, we're actually very emotional people. And so what they're wanting you to avoid is making decisions from, um, making decisions from an emotional place, okay? So emotions are energy in motion. So allow yourself to be innocent this month, okay? Allow yourself the patience to make the correct decision and allow things to happen behind the scenes, okay? Um, they also want me to look at the meanings of these cards, so I will. And we're going to look at the shadow. Okay, so... Um, the movement of cups it says prone to jealous out outbursts and expresses them outwardly jumps to conclusions emotionally does not respond well to reason or logic sensibility is not in balance emotionally irresponsible and blames others creates distance for protection causing isolation and loneliness seeks outward connection to mask lack of internal fulfillment okay so they're saying to avoid that this time around because it's in the avoid position we're looking at the shadow of this, okay? So this would be the Knight of Cups. So no jealous outbursts, Capricorn. No isolating yourself because you don't want to be intimate, okay? Um, in the Heart of Cups, it says neglectful of self-care with outward blame. Boundaries are not placed. Prone to emotional outbursts when feeling taken advantage of. Too attached to other stories. Self-blame for others' wounds. 
intuition is shadowed by emotional overdrive. So they're saying to avoid being in emotional overdrive, okay? Allow yourself to be um, intimate with others and your friendships without taking on their story as your own, Capricorn. Without allowing yourself to, you know, avoid the jealous outbursts, avoid feeling like um, they're really wanting you to have the strength to have the security within yourself, especially since you are going through a rapid spiritual development. So um, do avoid being overly emotional about your decisions. Take some time. Like if you feel that welling up, take some time to breathe. Um, if you're in a conversation with someone, you know, say, you know what, I need a minute. So what they're asking is for you to observe how you're feeling in the moment and before having the outburst, breathe, walk away if you have to, come back later, um, and and have the conversations in a way that's mature. Um, and Capricorn, you typically don't have major outbursts, but I feel like a, one of the traits that happens with Capricorn is when you're feeling taken advantage of or when you're feeling like something has um, disappointed you or emotionally it starts to well up that isolation factor and not taking care of self and what they're wanting you to do is really take care of yourself this month um, avoid isolating due to um, the emotional overwhelm and what to embrace here seven of pentacles beautiful what to embrace here is your discernment what to embrace is that through your patience and through your good investments, um, you are growing a tree of your life that is full of success. And that this month is a growth month for you, Capricorn. So you are in a growing state of being. Um, this card also always reminds me of discernment of where to plant your seeds. So again, with that uh, major accomplishment being the Eight of Cups and walking away, having the strength to walk away, you're choosing where you plant your energy and your seeds, especially your brand new energy that you're coming in as the innocence of pentacles. Okay, so you're not just gonna invest in anyone. Um, you're going to invest in what grows. And that's really beautiful. That, uh, embrace that part of yourself. Embrace the fact that you're going to be intimate. You're going to um, allow yourself to be social where it's appropriate. You're going to allow yourself to have relationships and walk away from the ones that are no longer serving you. Um, so embrace that your discernment and the investments that you are making. Where can Capricorn, where will Capricorn find support? Okay, we have the star. Um, this is card of Aquarius, so it could be an actual Aquarius. Um, but this also tells me that you'll find support in um, places that are healing. Okay, so whether you go through a um, uh, like a healing retreat, whether you go to the spa get a massage, whether you go to um, you know take care of yourself in other ways, you are going to be moving into a stage of um, support through um, taking care of yourself, through allowing the healing to take place. So especially since you are rapidly developing spiritually, they are saying to take care of your body, to allow yourself, go get a massage, you know, go get, um, go get yourself, you know, oh, they're showing me the chiropractor or spending time in the ocean with friends if you have an ocean around you. Um, but, but anything that feels healing, spending time in nature. So they're showing me a group going hiking. Um, and this particular time isn't alone. This is about, you don't have to do this alone, Capricorn. So um, be with the people that um, feel healing to you. And then the advice and encouragement for Capricorn. The advice and encouragement for Capricorn. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. All right. Beautiful. So the advice and encouragement, the four cards came out. We have Ace of Swords and the Four of Cups. The advice is, um, as you're seeing the truth, you're going to move away from the past. So this is just encouraging you that you are going to have clarity. The Ace of Swords is absolute clarity, that sort of truth that's going to break through the old cups. Um, and this is just reiterating that you are going to be walking away from the old cups 
that no longer serve and you are going to be able to see the cups that are being offered to you that are genuine where in the current moment you don't feel like you can see um, what cups are being offered to you in love or business um, opportunity wise um, but you, that uh, truth that clarity is coming for you so because you have been patient because you're moving through this um, spiritual process you are going to come into clarity where there was confusion and for many of you they're saying you're going to be more clear about your purpose than ever before where i feel like some of you are like okay i've had all these accomplishments but what am i really here to do like what am i here for right and they're saying because you're getting rid of the past program um, and you're tempering your emotions this month uh, that clarity is coming through also the advice and encouragement here is the ten of pentacles with earth mother this is beautiful ten of pentacles is my favorite card in the deck it says that all of your resources are taken care of happy family happy life like um like all of your needs material and spiritual and emotional are taken care of more than you could even desire and you have the earth mother the divine feminine this is mother gaia the divine feminine in her power this also often reminds me of the empress though it's not the empress card okay so you are in a really fertile stage right now um, by the end of the month money's going to be looking good relationships are going to be looking good and it's coming through the divine feminine this is not action oriented divine feminine is um, the place of non-action magnetism allowing yourself to receive okay so face those fears and move forward capricorn because um the encouragement is that you have like a windfall of energies of um of money of new health coming in for you so all that you've been working towards and plotting towards this whole time is about to come to fruition so just be patient with it and allow yourself to uh, move forward and then we're just going to close out the reading with um gosh this ear is really itching right now okay um with the wisdom of the oracle cards okay so we have 33 chaos and conflict and it says disarray being at a, at cross purposes with another the tension of opposites the value of chaos before order opposing forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere but consider the value of chaos that serves you well as you become unmoored by it scattered to the winds you leave behind the parts of yourself you no longer need and disperse the seeds to reinvent yourself anew leaving behind what you no longer need dispersing the seeds okay um although the conflict may appear to exist externally its essence is also internal projected outward and causing disarray you may find yourself at cross purposes with someone else facing a storm you feel you can't control yet every storm passes and chaos leads to a reordering of things conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray don't be too eager to fight this is a time to understand rather than to be understood okay and i'm good they asked me to read the relationship message it says stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition the incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved this is an opportune moment to learn about your values your sense of self and what's really important to you some things are non-negotiable if that's true it's not necessary to fight can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before for the storm will have passed blazing a new path for new growth in its wake things can become electric and enlightened always better than before if you use this time constructively okay so they're just reiterating the message of your reading okay that I know Capricorn likes to be orderly and things to be in their control, um, but at this time, this chaos and conflict is working in your favor to help you to master your emotions, to help you to master your um, yourself, because what you're wanting to bring in is going to require you to move through and face your fears. And then you also got 
the thinker, number 44, if that means something to you. Okay, it says strategy, being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. And the relationship message says, Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there's enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. No matter what, in these, this case, the facts are the facts, okay? So as you face your fears, as you move forward, um, you're really learning how to temper your emotions and to make the, the decisions that are going to be good for you, Capricorn, in all areas of your life, relationships, business, health, and otherwise, okay? So um, the strategy for this particular month is to take the logical approach, back up, be the observer, be the thinker, um, temper your emotions, let go of the stubbornness, okay? If something is not meant to work, like I said, for those of you stepping away from a relationship, it's because it's been coming, you've known it. Um, otherwise, if you're just in the heat of the moment, temper those emotions and um, allow yourself to work through and to overcome the obstacles that um, are, sur are around intimacy. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and until next time, aloha.